Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Crazy Bake. So, what are we doing today? Cornflake tart. Yeah. No, we haven't. We've really stacked on the video upload. It's been like just doing one a week. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Not really actually found that many recipes to do. Um, well, and trying there's to actually... lots. It's just... Do we want to do oh, yeah. this? It's having, like it's having, to do it. Oomph to do it. We lost our oomph. It's having um, time to do it as well at the minute. Um, where we're so busy with schools and stuff. Um, but yeah, we're going to do one today. Hopefully I will get back on track and get our videos going again. Got her new pastry toy. I've got my new self a new pastry toy. So yeah, so I want to try that. Um... And I thought, what better, you know, it's quick. Well, it's not quick, because you have to chill it, but... I've always said I'm going to make one, and... It's a tart. It's a pastry tart. And you could use it for breakfast as well. So, yeah, we're going to... Go to breakfast on coming up to Christmas. Crack on with the video. Hopefully, also, I want to try and start doing some Christmas recipes as well. Um, so, yeah, let's crack on. This is everything we're going to use. Um, I have used Frosties because they're, they're slightly going, they still got their snap, but you know, they go. But I didn't have a enough. enough, so I've added some little cookie cereals. Cookie cereals to it. Uh, give it an extra. I've, I'd add, added actually 30 grams of those but you can do obviously I won't the recipe will just be on the cornflakes but I ran out I will leave everything that we've got the ounces and everything um, in the description below oh uh, here I have plain, plain flour, flour. <coughs> you need two lots of butter for this yep. recipe <coughs> and this is my butter that's just hopefully still a bit chilled We have caster sugar, jam, and golden syrup. And just going to make a paste. Basic, very simple pastry. And oh, it's all really you need, and some water. Now, um, I ask, the water is just to combine it to bring it together. I'm not going to get on with this very much, but I'm trying to do it with table with a dessert spoon so that roughly you sort of get how much I'm using. It's just a more add it to yourself. Yeah. That's very good for breaking in the butter, but I can't feel the texture. So yeah, hopefully now um, like the be try and do some more cooking videos and keep up with it, um, but also start doing some Christmas ones. Spraying it. Normally we always leave it so late the Christmas videos, um, but this year I want to be on time, so start start getting some Christmas videos out. Mm -hmm. Most 
Just to keep hand clean. Yeah. Just. Not to bring that together with the just the water just to make it come together really. I don't think that really actually needs any more water added <coughs> to it, so I'm not going to. It is starting to come. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure if you were actually, you know, end up that you put too much water, you could just add a bit of flour. But there we go. Let's come together. Now, just gonna wash my hands off because so I need to be able to put that to chill. Okay. I'm going to clean film. There's another thing on my list. That's fine. <coughs> Got no clean film use. Yeah. Use a bag, resealable bag. This bag, that'll do. As long as it's kept airtight, so it doesn't go hard away in the fridge. How long has that got to go in the Sweet fridge for? Help. Um, I don't think there's actually a limit. It's just, I don't know, it needs a bit, just a bit of chilling out time. Release the air from that. because obviously it's been played well with a bit more I can do actually while it's in a bag it's just spread it out a bit more as well less rolling there we go that'll do you haven't got to do that I'm just going to pop it into the fridge for a little bit to Give it a chill because it is just basically flour, water and butter. Hey, you're back. That's been in for 20 minutes. Obviously you can leave it in longer but I'm impatient. So it's had 20 minutes. <coughs> If I might roll that, that's not too. I need my pin. Oh. I have got. Oh. I'll roll that just a tiny bit. Hopefully it doesn't stick to the side. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> oh well. Don't roughly do. Okay, look at that. And I'm just going to push it. around to fit in there one bit might be thicker than the other bit but that'd be all right might shrink as well in the oven it might shrink a bit in the oven so lovely 
What are you putting in there? <coughs> um, I am going to put my baking beans in there. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, if you don't have baking beads, um, you can always put rice in there. Yeah, I mean, you can spend your time and make that fancy even if you like. We're not on the fancy life because you're just going to eat it anyway. I don't know. Make it fancy. No. That's waste it's of good. time. Yeah, waste of time. You're going to eat it and everyone it's knows what shove happens. It like that and eat it anyway. Well, I have to find my baking beans. We're not prepped for this video, as you can tell. It should be there somewhere. <laughs> somewhere in the jungle? Yeah, somewhere here. Somewhere in the jungle where nobody goes. No, they're not over the back there. I think they've been moved. Okay, we will be back in a minute while we just fired the beads. So, right, we so found them. We found them. You can use baking beans. There's, uh, there you go. Ceramic Fine baking off. beads. Really old. But. Uh, or, like I say, rice. I've used this we've, rice. Yeah, we've actually used that as white as in a different um, tin. Before, just for this. So that's what you can actually use. And I just keep that rice specifically. Obviously, don't touch them. Like, let them cool down when they'll see they come out of the oven. They will be hot. So I'm yeah, just putting a that. layer. Stops it from blowing up. Or you can use rice. It's got to go on gas mark three. That's 170. Ah, I know that, Celsius. We go 170 Celsius, gas mark three. How I know what for? it is for Fahrenheit. 20 minutes? Um, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Middle show, look at that. Be back in another 20 minutes. Yeah. Action. Right, I've got my tart base out. tart base out. I took my beads off um, and just give it an extra five minutes just to dry this out. So that's why I've put little holes in it because it did bubble a little bit without them beads in it. It's still quite hot. You're supposed to let it cool, but why that's cooling? We're going to do this bit. So I've got sugar, you can use like really golden brown sugar, golden caster sugar but I haven't got any, um, golden syrup and butter. I'll see, I've spread it out so that you can see. Mm. Is that on a lowish heat? I don't want to caramel out, is it? I just want Probably put my mock jam in while I'm letting that that melt down. So while that is on a low, I will keep my eye on it. 
I'm just going to put I don't know how much. Yeah. So you can taste it, yeah. You know. About half a job. Yeah, about half a job. Bit like mine, what you love it or you hate it, I like jam. Well I'll put the quantity but obviously I just think it's down to your taste really. Jam peanut butter. Sandwiches. You want me to put peanut butter in it? Why not? Mm. Let's give it a go. No, because no one else would eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I like peanut butter. Yeah, we're not going to eat a whole tart. Uh, well, that's all I'm going to do, but... Uh, you want a layer of jam on it? Um. That looks like a lot of filling. They're going in there. Just having a look at that, sorry. Yeah, so you just want to put a layer of your strawberry jam on it. I've just put a couple of spoons in there. Okay. But you can do it hell. Don't like jam, you can put anything in it really. Oh. Mm. Lemon curd, marmalade, chocolate spread, peanut butter, marmite if you're that daring. That's spicy, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh. We love marmite in this house. Let's just have a look at that. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, it's all melted together. Lovely. I'm going to put cereal in there. Hmm? I'm going to put the cereal in there. Yep. Yeah, it's just sort of been melted together really and then or pour it into there and mix it I'm gonna try if it'll work I oh, know backhand da, da, da. I have to go this way story. I'm just gonna put all my cereal into that oh, oh, oh. there you go just about fits. Just about fits in my little pad and just coat it all in it. Just get it well coated. Get it all mixed up in that nice delicious syrup. Oh look at that. Smells so nice. If they did a smell cam, oh. I mean, you know, it's not that hot. So if you want, you can always tip it in your dish. to make sure that all that topping is combined nicely into it. Yeah. Well coated is what you want. That sure is well coated, it's glistening. Look at that. Cool. Now that tart with bits of squirty cream or ice cream or custard, whatever you want. Oh. God. 
That's like Mount Everest. Yeah. Mount Everest in that pile there, that. It's humongous. Loads of filling. Well, you don't need to put that much filling in it if you don't want yeah. to. Do you want me to take some no. out? Hell no. But the time I've got it to fit in every nook and cranny. Got to have enough of the filling rather than just chewing on pastry. Wow. How long's that got to go in the fridge for? That is going to go into the oven, I'm afraid. Oven. Sorry, cooking again. Back in the oven again. Best just to leave your oven on. Third time lucky. Yeah. It's going back in. <laughs> it's going to go in the oven for about 15 minutes. 15. One no. five. That's one five. <laughs> Not 50. Not 50. <laughs> about 15 minutes. Sorry, not filming what I'm doing, I'm um, He's picking. Eating the topping, that's well nice. So, there we go. There it goes. So hopefully that's set off together. Mm. Thank you. <clears throat> And we'll be back. See you in 15 minutes. Hi, and welcome back. And here we are. Out of the oven. All cool, all set. We're just going to start sprinkling it with I'm just going to make it sugar. a bit festive. You haven't got to do this. No, we're just doing this. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's so sweet enough as it is. But well, I made it festive. <coughs> yeah. Yum. I've already been eating the topping. Mm. It has cooled down. So hopefully I can cut it without killing it. <laughs> no guarantees. <coughs> um, um, then we've got a little plate. Over here, this I do. Mm. Shouldn't eat with your mouth full. <laughs> eat, talk. So there we have it. And there's your jam. All in there. It's wow. sweet. Mm. That is nice. And there you have it. Um, sort of a quick recipe. Take some time because you got your rest in your pastry, you're cooking the base, and then you're going to recook it afterwards. You won't want too much of that. Bit. That's sweet. And still a little bit. That's right. Running fine. Um, Dig in the fridge. But yeah, it's it very sweet. Lovely. You won't want too much, but it's something different. Yum, yum. Mm. 
probably really nice with cream. Yeah. We want to go all out and be really naughty. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> please subscribe give it a go like I say it's just something a little bit different um, and we'll see you next time bye for now also thank you to everyone that has subscribed we're over like 300 subscribers oh yes thank you ever so much it really means a lot um, so yeah let us know if you uh, if you have a go yourself um, very very addictive I'm not going to lie very sweet as well. Um, so yeah, like my mum said. Christmas storm. Please subscribe. Like it. Thumbs it up. Um, turn the bell notification and all that stuff. Um, so you don't miss out on any other videos. And we will catch you guys soon. It's an easy way to use up fit your bits. If you've got some cool flakes and that left over. And don't know what to do with them. And if you just really fancy something sweet that... Isn't chocolate. Bye. Bye.